Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting today is Thursday, October the 3rd. Um, I have a couple of things on the agenda that it, which includes our current um, program for of the election that's taking place right now, um, the contributor spotlight story, strengthen community efforts update, and our DevOps dozen award, and of course, October Fest. <laughs> Um, anything else that we should add? Okay. So election, so voter registration is in place at the moment and that will go to um, up to October 31st. For those who are not familiar with um, uh, what's going on, We I put links here. We have the election candidates listed, their bios and et cetera, and how people can register and eventually vote down the road. So these two links will be helpful. Contributor Spotlight Story, we currently have Adrian on the list to be posted. Um, on October 8th. His story will go live on October 8th, that is. And then we have a couple other stories that has been lined up. And I know that Kevin is interviewing or um, our contributors and will share their stories um, later down the road. And then, Chris, then I will hand over to you the, well, before I move on, are there any questions for Contributor Spotlight Story or the election? No. No? Okay. All right. Then I will hand, I will hand over the Strength and Community Efforts to you, Chris. Okay. So, um... I think it's like as Mark suggested, there are four areas I can work on to add um some uh something like a widget to um some of the pages in um a website. For example, the plugins page, um I could add a widget to plugin start Jenkins IO. Mm -hmm. So um but I may need to um modify the color scheme I'm using for the contributor spotlight right now for the same widget. And then the second item is um oh okay, so we're showing them yeah. Like in, yeah, so um for this one, so uh because like for for this one I, we may need a white background, so mm. that's the only change needed. But um I think it's like um I think we're gonna put in the landing page, right, for this item. Yeah. Okay. So just I'll, I'll figure a way to add it. So that's the first task. That's the most like a highest priority. Mm -hmm. So second second item is for the Jenkins style um main page at the root. So um I think we're gonna put it like um uh probably after sponsorship but before the footer. That's like mm -hmm. the, the space above the footnote and below okay. the main sponsors. And that's like uh, the car scheme wise, like I need to think about it. Maybe I'll keep it like um like in two modes, light mode and dark mode. Mm. So I'll need to think up like uh, two schemes. So I'll come up with something I'll, and I'll like uh, show it to you later to for approval. Okay. So I may slack you. Yeah. Like, yeah. And the third item is the downloads page also in jenkins.io but um i think it's like um the downloads page it's um if you go to jenkins.io and you click on download um it's a button for download yeah so this is the page where i'm supposed to add in which yeah. is well. so it's gonna go i think it's gonna go between like um yeah, that that portion and uh, just just about of, above the footer. Yeah. Okay. So uh, use the space above the footnote below near the report Jenkins in the cloud space. But that that's it. So that 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 I think that that has a dark mode to it too. So I have to have two skims to one light mode and dark mode. Right. Yeah. And finally, 
finally he's like i right, i'll need to work on um the success stories oh, mm -hmm. he's like this one is already been done so um i think add a widget um on the landing page of it so um but uh mark thinks it's not as high traffic as the other pages so uh, yeah. this lowest priority currently so yeah. go through them one by one during during october for october first so uh, that's what i plan to do okay and... i think that makes perfect sense yep cool thanks chris um this is exciting that we'll be able to have this so thank you for all your hard work you're welcome all right, let us holler if you need us. Just let us know. Okay. All right. Um, and then DevOps doesn't award. I am pretty much done with regards to, you know, planning out how we're, what we're going to say or how we're going to fill out our application. So I pulled the data as of uh, last Friday. So the data on here is pretty much up to date. And so Darren has gone through it. Mark has gone through it. Um, Kevin has gone through it. It's These are like this pretty much the same question as what they gave us last year in the application. So all I did was pretty much updated um, the data. So not too much of a change, which is okay. good. Okay, maybe I'll take a look at it too later. Okay, thanks, Chris. Um, oh. I know that the deadline for me to get this submitted is October 18th, but I, you know, if you can provide me feedback by October 14th, that will allow me to like review the stuff and okay. um, do some work if needed but I want to get it submitted before the 18th, if possible. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it like maybe uh, today, right away. Okay. Um, oh, so Chris, so Varsha had a question in the uh, Q&A window. Uh, can I help you with it, with the Strength and Community Efforts update? She's asking. Mm, I don't think so, not at the moment. Okay, but thanks thanks for asking, Varsha. Yep, thanks for asking. Um, okay, I think that's it. Uh, and then, of course, October Fest is happening right now, and I know, Chris, you're a part of that as well. So that is taking place until October 31st. Um, if you know anyone interested in learning more about it, it's still there's still time to join and participate. And this page spells out how you can do that. Um, that's all I have. Is there any other questions for me or for Chris? Or Chris, do you have questions? Yeah, I do have some for Vasha though. If you want to contribute, like um, I'll type it in the chat. I think for for the stats, I think for the stats, it's like there's some bugs we need someone to fix. So like that maybe um maybe one place you can contribute to Hacktoberfest, and another one is like for I'm not sure this one maybe more involved though, the version dogs. So uh, let me type it in the chat too. So that that one's like I have opened up some issues for it, but um, so if you want to help out those, you may. You may be able to find some issues in the like repositories for these. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Varsha. So yeah, the stats pages was super helpful, Chris. I mean, because I was I spent a lot of time on it to fill oh. out the uh, DevOps Dozen Award application. Okay. And before I literally would have to cry. It's like I wanted to pull out my hair, but now it was yeah. so easy. I, I spent like, I was able to click on things and be able to, you know, know the exact numbers and look at, compare it to other places that I'm seeing the data. 
And it was so, so helpful. So thank you so much for all you do there. Huge think, difference. Yeah, I think Shalom will do a good job too, but there's still some bugs when you fix. So uh, yeah, so it's still a work to go. Yeah, but huge difference though from before. Yep. Yep. So True. thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, and I've added those links to the application. Um, so that will be really easy for people to verify if they want to. Um, so that will help out for a lot of folks. Yep. yep. Okay, so I think that's all I have. We're good? Mm, I think so, but um, let me think. So for October 1st, we have a blog post out and uh, we have, um, yeah, I think, I think there's not much else to discuss at this point about October 1st. Okay. Yeah, just feel free to, Varsha, if you are interested, yeah, check out those links that Chris sent you. I think those are helpful to start with. Thanks, well, you. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. Okay. All right. If there's nothing else, then um, have a good evening. Have a good night. Yep. You too. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.